the Caribbean. It's arguably one of the most beautiful places on earth. With crystal blue waters and white sand beaches, it is truly a place of wonder. But in addition to the majestic nature of the earth, you will also find a creature that captures hearts, the stray dog. The locals throughout the Caribbean cook peas and rice in pots on the stovetop. After the meals are served, there is a cake-like fritter burnt to the bottom of the pot. This cake is fed to the stray dogs, giving them the name pot cake. Unfortunately, we haven't taken care of the dogs properly, and now an estimated 50,000 feral dogs roam free throughout the Bahamian and Turks and Caicos Islands. They wander near highways and through neighborhoods, creating health hazards for humans through disease. Many resort to living at trash sites as a means to find food for themselves and their pups. However, there are those making a difference. This movie highlights one shelter on Great Abaco Island that we hope inspires a movement for people to get involved and to take care of these wonderful, soulish animals. This is the founder of Abaco Shelter, Pops Weatherford. Well, uh, people call me Pops, but my name is Willis Weatherford. I'm originally from um, Manila Key. There's just so many dogs around Marsh Harbor through the streets and stuff. And uh, we used to feed them and try to help them out on the streets. And so I decided to uh, see if I could do a shelter somehow. So I went to um, the local government and asked them if I could use that old dump site to make a shelter. So I started that, I guess 2010 or somewhere around there. And uh, so I went to different people on the island to see if they would donate some wooden materials, uh, the 20 foot containers that are there now that they use um, some fencing, but mainly we use pellets at the beginning because we didn't have any money to buy anything as per se to get the dogs, keep the dogs in. And we did get some wonderful people right away that said we will donate 50 pounds of food every week or we will do this and he made nice little boxes to put in the stores of the businesses that would allow it. Mm -hmm. It's been difficult getting any money from government that doesn't give us anything. Right. So it's all for the uh, Donations. Go around and mm -hmm. ask it, oh, people will do donate. And I just decided that um, something needed to be started here. There's nobody doing anything about it. So I just took it on my own to, to see what I could do about it. The, the bottom line was not I wasn't looking for no self praise from anybody. I just thought there's something I need to do. And, and I figured it was, if, if I got it going, sooner or later, it, there would be more and more people getting involved, which it which, which did. My name is Lisa Plummer. I live up in Green Turtle Key, Abaco, and um, probably about four years ago, I decided I was going to help volunteer. I had my first pot cake you at did. the time, and so that pulled me in. And so um, I started one day a week, and um, the gentleman that started at Willis Weatherford decided that he was getting a bit elderly and wanted to retire and not spend so much time sure. here because it's a, it's very labor intensive and. Um, so we, um, as in the volunteers, decided to take over um, the shelter four years ago. For people in other countries that might be seeing this video right now, if their heartstrings are being pulled, what can they do to help? Well, if they um, are, are dog lovers and they would like to um, have a pot cake, they can certainly adopt. Um, we also have a PayPal account on our website, abacoshelter.org, so they can donate that way. We have an um, organization in Atlanta called World Pot Cake Rescue, hmm. and they are wonderful on um, paying for all half of all of our spay and neutering at our clinics. They also supply us with meds. They also take our dogs and adopt them out and um, they actually pay for all of our spaying and neutering all year because we don't fundraise for that all year we only fundraise for our clinics so we're able to do um, larger numbers but we do spay and neuter all year and so they um, pay the vets directly the best thing that's happened in the last two or three years is the the animal shelter and lisa the, the whole group of them spay and neuter clinics all the time all over the place we are here with world-famous Sunny the Potcake. 
Now we found him on the side of a Caribbean road, almost dead. He had a really bad eye infection from what we think was a dog fight. Uh, he had two types of mange, and as you can see here in this picture, he was very malnourished. Now just after a few short weeks, he was healthy enough to fly to his new home in the U.S. And now he is a wonderful part of our family. He gets along with our two Sphinx cats just fine, and that's very common for pot cakes. Um, he actually can get very excited. He loves to go walking and loves to run around the yard, but most of the time, as you see here, he's pretty chill. Pot cake dogs are quite perfect. We hope you may find a dog that has chosen you when you visit the shelter's website. If you know of someone considering a new pet, please share the idea of adopting an island dog. We as humans have allowed this problem to get out of control. So now we must take action to help. In return, we actually get a loving creature that pours our love back on us tenfold.